Hello everybody and welcome into another episode of OCRP. We are doing something a little different today. We're in our Riley character, our off-duty law enforcement slash dispatcher character. And we are going to the supposed funeral for Larry Berry. Um, I am a little bit sus on it because it is April Fool's. And, you know, this guy was in, like, investigations and secret investigations and, uh... And uh, investigative journalism, so I don't know. I feel like it may just be a, a story. I'm a little sus, but we're gonna see. Let's go uh, pay our respects and see uh, what we get into. All right, let's see if we can go find the people. Oh gosh, did they already start? Just put it on, take it off, why? Put on the book ahead. I just need my helmet on. Okay, would well, you want to hold the book ahead? No, you hold it. Okay. Thank you. If you can't, don't worry about it. I wouldn't wear it in bed, and I'm not going to wear it now. I love him, but no. What did we just I walk did. into? I didn't bring a bucket hat. Can't yeah, I don't have one. I don't have one that matches with my suit. Can't wear one with the uniform. Alright. He makes me to lay down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads he leads me in the path of the righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. Now, if Amen. 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 Like say some, say Amen. something, feel, more, feel, free to have, feel free to. We'll start with guests. So if anyone would like to come forward and talk, uh, now's your time. I'll, I'll finish this off when there's no one else left. Don't be shy. Everyone is free. Come forward. All right. My name is... Uh... Officer Carl Estrada, I'm with the uh, Grape Sea Police Department. Larry and I had a had a very troubled history. Uh, after after his time away, I, I just really thought we had turned over a new leaf, and I, I was happy to get to know the new Larry after his investigation into Bug Boy and everything that came with it. Uh, he he was a incredible incredible reporter. Uh, sometimes that put us at odds, but there was only one thing that would satisfy Larry, and that was the truth, and nothing. He was a man of good, of chaos, the gray area, and he was an incredible man. I always thought he would go out in a, in a blaze of glory, Dukes of Hazard on some big investigation, but I, I never thought he would he defeated by his his own humanness but i think it's fitting that it shows someone as great as him is still human and it's truly such a terrible loss and i i know that today even though we might not have been the best of friends i still did lose someone who i think in a time of need where if i needed advice i could have called and to not have that anymore is is truly saddening. Uh, to to Wyatt, to you, my friend, I am so incredibly sorry. You've been such a good friend to all law enforcement, and to see you hurting this way makes me just want to come give you a hug. Thank you. Uh, to the rest of the family. You have my deepest sympathies, and if there's anything that I can ever do for you, please just reach out. Okay, I, I can't Thank talk you. to you. Thank you for those words. I might need your help finding a dispatcher. Why does he need the dispatcher? Can I have a hug? Yeah. Thank you, best friend. Oh, that's touching. It's very beautiful. 
Air raids, dear. Somebody else. I'll say some words. Thank you. Lawrence Berry was the love of my life. It's been 20 years since I've seen him, and I just wanted to talk to him. And then he had his heart attack. But I loved him. And that will not be mistaken. It is a dark, dark day for all of us to lose such a man. And my heart goes out to Wilma and to Wyatt and to Bryce and the rest of the family and to Jerry. And I am so sorry to have met you under such terrible conditions, but I hope that you can learn to love me as one year out. Get it, nerdy. Thank you. Thank love you. you, Annie. Oh, so sad. I love you, sweetheart. That was beautiful. Is there any anyone else that wanted to say a few words? Jerry saved Grandpa on the mountain. And Jerry saved him again on the island. But in the end, Jerry couldn't save him from his own heart. Oh, dear, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Jerry you did, oh. You, I love you, Jerry. You did everything was... you could, son. That was beautiful. Thank, thank you for speaking, Jerry. It was it was good, Jerry. Larry Berry, the uh, the pain in the ass he was. He always had my back through all the years. You'll you'll, you'll be missed, buddy. Amen. I love you, Dad. That's it. Even I said more. I haven't seen him for twenty years. <laughs> Uncle Morty's been our life. He doesn't have to say much to get across his message. He's a man of few words and many farts. Oh, if I can. You don't have to. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. You can do this, sweetheart. Auntie's here for you. Papa Larry, I'm gonna miss you. You brought me into this. This family, it's amazing, and I'm gonna miss you, and now you're gone. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. You're the best uncle I've ever had. You're the only uncle I've ever had. I'm gonna miss you. Oh. It was, it was touchy, Wyatt. It's very sweet, Wyatt. Oh, you're right. Is there anyone else that would like to come forward? Dan, David, I know you guys were through him in the media. I didn't know if you had any words. I think your voice box, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yep, never mind. That was beautiful. <laughs> well said. Very well said. Larry was a great Amazing guy. words, Dan. He greatly. tried. He tried, Thank and that's you, what matters. Dean, I think he would have appreciated that. He, <laughs> he knows you so well. Um, I, newer, uh, newer to the family, but it has been a, quite a journey. It has been difficult, you know, with the uh, ups and downs that, you know, Larry and I have had. We have definitely disagreed on quite a few things, but ultimately I know that he loved this family and he did everything for them, even if it was questionable. Um, and we'll definitely love and miss him for that. And I'm very, very glad and proud to have known him in this life and thank everyone for coming. It was it was fantastic, Bryce. That was beautiful, Bryce. Very beautiful, <laughs> Bryce. I guess it's it's my turn. Yeah, I think so. Hi everyone. Uh thank you for coming today under I guess these circumstances. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Wilmer. I'm Larry's son that he didn't know about for twenty twenty thirty thirty years. He just recently came back in my life, but he he had that way to pull you in. Like, even before I knew he was my dad, we were always right next to him, either messing with him, hanging out, doing the new stuff. And I think it's because even though we both didn't know that we were father and son, we just, we had that connection. And I think he had that connection of everyone he knew. Each one of you is here because he's touched you either by 
being like you got to know him you saw him on the news you just had that persona that would pull you in even though he was kind of a jerk sometimes and it's gonna be hard knowing that he's gone that i'm not gonna be able to prank him anymore i'm not gonna be able to call him to tell him what's going on in my life he's not gonna be there when i when i propose to brass But that's okay, because I know he's going to be watching all of us. And he'll be happy for us. I will save you a seat, Larry. He'll always be welcomed. And he'll always be loved. I'm going to miss you, Dad. And I wish little Bill was here to be here with me, but he'll miss you, too. Goodbye, Dad. I'd like everyone to salute my father. Why does he have an umbrella? Rest in peace, Larry. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Good man. Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. I knew away. it. You, I called it. Got you. I pranked what? you. What? 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 Is what? This? Larry? Got it. Oh, man. I got Wilma. Wyatt, are you okay? Are you Wyatt? Oh no. Yep. Saw that coming a mile away. What? What is this? Oh, I got you. Jerry, good. Help, help this is crazy. I thought you could prank me. Come on, Wyatt. Look how many people well, you made faint. Cause I'm Larry. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. This is terrible. You want to Oh, Wilma! Oh, Wilma, oh, you thought you. you could get me on April Fool's Day! Oh. <laughs> this was I a prank? You. This was a prank? What is wrong oh, with you? Oh, you Jerry. thought you could prank the oh, OG oh prank stuff! Oh, you you okay, man. Jerry? Oh. I got a morsel oh, for you, dude! CNT, but this is a whole new level, dude. <laughs> I got you! <laughs> and I actually got <laughs> sad for I'm him. On, oh, this is the last time I ever cut that SOP of this was one of the best pranks I've ever seen. Are you serious? Are you in on you, this? <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> in on this, but it's <laughs> prank wars. And it's, it's the it's state and everything, and here this guy's... Oh, this is not... Kind of, it's kind of messed oh, up. Kinda? It's a lot of... What is I know? Kinda? Oh, it's it is messed up in the best of because I won the prank war right off the bat. I'm the only one that didn't see this coming. Uncle Larry. Oh, probably. Oh, happy You should have seen rather. the looks on your faces. <laughs> That's so messed up, Larry. That is very messed up. Lawrence, you are just a little bit. Very. Are you what? serious right now? Oh, come on now, Bryce. I think she I took off time for work for this. Are you? you from her. I, it's raining. I'm standing oh in the my rain. God, I can't, I can't even fathom. What it is was going a prank. through your thick? This is not a prank. You say, oh, look at the look on our faces. Do you see, Wyatt? Have you seen everyone you? here? It's just, a, it was just a prank. It was a, a it's Wyatt. prank one. Wyatt, oh, Wyatt. Oh, come on, Wyatt. Prank. Come on just back, Wyatt. Prank. But look at all oh, of these no. people that oh, came no. here oh, no. to gather for you and to sit here. We've just said it's... all of these beautiful things about you. And then this is just a prank. You're not dead. Do you know how traumatic this has been for your entire family? You're literally tearing it apart. I, I mean, and Wilma gets it. It, it, it. it was funny, right, Wilma? It's not I, funny. I, okay. I'm going to have to agree with Bryce just because... It's not it, funny. It, it, this it, it, is disgusting. Only this family. It was, look, it was awesome. I mean, Fight the, about the, the it. looks no. on y'all's face. The way you cried him in the head. in the ER, that was just phenomenal. Look, that was... Even oh, Chuck was crying, Dad. You made him say it. Well, we're back. Uh, Chuck gets it. Chuck gets it. This is I hope he throws you off the bridge again. I'm happy about it. Oh, 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 yeah. Look at your face. Oh, you want to look at our faces? I'm going to oh, show Jesus. you to look at your face. Oh, that's what he means. Ow. Well, I guess if anyone wants to start burying him. Okay. Bryce, Bryce, ow, Bryce. Shut up. Bryce. All right, who's got the shovel? Oh, jeez. Yeah, who's got the shovel? Oh, Bryce! Bryce! Seriously! Oh, what? Oh, you want to well, bet? Oh, oh, my hip! My sciatica! Chuck, oh, oh, oh my sciatica! Oh, Bryce! Well, I guess now's oh. your chance. Okay, 
I. Oh, oh Bryce, my... come on now, come no, on, Bryce, no. Bryce, come here, on. Trebalooia. It was just Best a joke. Funeral ever. It was just oh, a funny ha ha joke. Not, no, it's not I... funny, and this is not a joke. It's April Fools, ha 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 ha. We're all having a good time, right? The only fool here is you, Larry. You really think oh, that, that, that this is okay? I think they lost Wyatt. I thought he was alive all along. You idiot! I, 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 it was just a prank. I know that voice. That's all it was. Okay. Well, apparently pranks are more important than your family. I, I, is that I what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling everyone here that came to commemorate your life and to remember you? You're going to really tell me that a prank is more important than that? I, it's just, it, it's April Fool's. I, I, you know, I'm sorry if it went too far. I just, you know, uh, Wilmer and I just, we get... We get heated on April Fools, you know. I I I, I was just gonna pretend to be dead. Ow! Chuck, That's keep going dirty at him too. No. Yeah, women. Get him. Oh, you're so frustrating to Cubs, me. Just watch. I want round three. Oh, oh they're my on nose. Ah, uh, I think it broke my nose. Ow. Is it not assault if it's family? Yeah, uh, uh, my nose. It's Excuse me, nose. sir. If you can back up. Is oh, it crooked? You... Yes, Ow. and you know what? I need to make it more crooked. Get up uh, here. Uh, nah, come on, Bryce. Get up. Now listen, um, listen, Bryce. Bryce, come on now. Oh, now you want I me to listen? We're supposed listen. to trust you? Are you serious? She trusted you, Larry. Oh my god, Bryce! No Bryce. one's gonna trust you. How can anyone trust you after this? Ah, Bryce. Get up. Ah, You're a Jesus. bear. Get back up. I don't know if I should <laughs> get in the middle of this. The amount of pain that you have Second, put this family through. I'm already in the middle of something. Do you know how horrible it was to listen to Wyatt cry and just be so concerned that you were never coming back. Ah! It was just a joke, everybody. I'm so sorry. Jesus. Well, you're gonna have a lot of time saying sorry to not just me, but your family. That's I thought it was pretty funny. Right now, man. Don't, don't be started. Don't be started. I mean... Did this people not realize the, the date? Last time you're getting a break inside a grape seed jurisdiction. I'm saying that now. Come on, guys. We're all gonna laugh about it soon, right? I can't believe no. I actually looked up to you. I felt I bad for you. I felt I was, sad. I was on the edge of crying. Of my speech. I had to give Wilmer a hug. Not Wilmer. Wyatt. Sorry. I had to Wyatt. I had to give Wyatt a hug. He was so distraught. Yeah, no one, no one did. No one came to offer me a hug. Hey man, I sold my. Does that mean I don't get your yacht? All right, all right, fine, fine. All it was right. never your yacht to begin with, Chuck. Well, he said I could have it. I can't he did it not. You. All right, I'm sorry. All right. I gave sorry. it to Lil Bill. You don't even understand. You can't even comprehend what you've done. I'm sorry, okay? I am sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm sorry that exactly. the, prank, the prank went too far. I'm sorry, okay? I, oh, I, really? And where I'm did sorry, it cross everybody. that line? The fact you even thought about it, let alone went through with it? It's it just, it was, it was a prank. Okay, I'm that's apologizing. Not, that's not a prank. Excuse me. I think, I think maybe you, you. Okay, our sense of humor don't align. You might have had a, you know, taken it a little bit too hard. I'm sorry that you did. Surrounded it was just a prank. And I apologize. And Chuck. This You're is gonna end well. Uh, I bury him alive. I can't even get back in there. That's oh, not very nice. Ow. Everybody get a shovel. Bury him alive. Seriously. Yeah. Grab a shovel. Put him in the casket. What is well, I guess we could put him in the casket. All right, all right, Bryce. All right, all right. I get it. All right. No more. No more. You're hit. not. No more. No. Hit. Really? You're gonna tell me what to do? Please. She's no more. Oh, well, you know what? Here, here. She's no, gonna Larry. Punch you, again. you know, uh, you need to trust me. I'm not gonna push you again, okay? Just, you need to trust me. Uh, you do really you? do need to do trust you? me on that one. Do you? You need to trust me too. Bryce, knock it off. Oh No. Knock it off, Bryce. Oh, Bryce, what are you going to hey, do? Bryce, die Bryce, again? Bryce. Oh, that was awesome. Are you guys filming for like a new show or something? That's a Man, girl with some techniques. Give me Bryce, a shovel. Bryce, no. Bryce, come, come here. We need to talk. All right, bye. All right, break's over, everybody. Excuse Jesus. me, sir. Boy, this no just didn't go right. Break's over. No break's over. Are you going to buy me a new car?
All right, let's all go party on the le on I, the I yacht, free of charge from Larry. Oh, man. All right, well, have a good day, everybody. Oh gosh. See you at the yellow jack later. Tripped in the hole. I would, but I can't. User was moved out of your channel. Party on the yacht. Let's go. But just so you know, I recognize your voice too. Have a good day. Oh my God, that's the dispatcher. Mary, have it, everybody. The funeral of Larry Berry. I had no idea what they were planning, but I was just like, it's April 1st, it's gotta be a joke, and what do you know it was. <laughs> Let's just stir the pot here a little bit. Gonna go for a quick drink and then we will go to work. All right, we made it to the yellow jack here. We'll get a quick little drink and then we'll head to work. We got a dispatch shift tonight. Hey there, just a Long Island, please. I'm gonna get a beer. How's it going? What's up, man? Well, just uh, just getting a little drink in before I head to head off to work. Oh yeah, you? what do you do for work? Uh, I work at the 911 call center. Oh. So you're like a policeman or something? Sometimes. Not tonight, but uh, sometimes. Aha. Uh -huh. That must be your fancy little clown car out there. No, I don't have a clown car, no sir. Yeah, clown car. It's green. It's what? The color of it. It's green. It's green. Clown car. Wow, that's my favorite color. Yeah, the color ain't bad. It's just a damn car, man. If it ain't a jacked up big old Chevrolet, it ain't nut. It is a Chevrolet, though. But it ain't big old jacked up truck. That's true, but it's a Chevy. Well, at least it ain't a Ford again. Fair enough. So they gonna let you work at the damn police station under the influence? Oh, I'm just having a little bit of a, a sip. I don't work immediately. Uh, just, uh, you know, take the nerves off and then it'll get out of my system and I'll head into work. Damn, I thought I had me a new job. <laughs> no, sir. No, I can't so to... I can't show up to work intoxicated. I, I just gotta go in a little bit. See, that's why everybody gets mad at me, because they they say I show up to work drunk. But hell I can work just fine. I mean some some people have a pretty good tolerance. Just means I if I ain't got a job, just means I can keep driving my big old jacked up Chevrolet and picking up the babies. Well, there you go. Hi, right, brother, I'm out here. Raise hell, praise Dale. All right, have a good one. And there it is, Boat Boy inviting someone else to the Yellow Jack right after he invited us to the Yellow Jack. We'll have to say something about that. Oh. Hello there. What, what going on? Oh, uh... Just having a quick little drink before I uh, have to go into work here in a little bit. Oh, is that right? Yeah, just uh, just a couple little sips. What are you up to? What what, what, you, what you drinking? Uh, Long Island. Oh, no, you you ain't got hang on. Pardon me. You ain't you you, you ain't got that. Here, let's talk like what you like. How do you know I, I like wine? You look like you look like you like wine. Yeah, um, you can have it. I'm I I can't drink much because I have to go into work here in a little while. Well, no, here have just have this one, just one. 
Yeah, I, I didn't see if you put anything in it. And... No, no, I poured it for the bottle. Just had this, just uh, just this one right here. Yeah, I just, I need to make sure that I can go to work tonight. You could go to work, it'll be fine. Yeah, they don't want me to show up drunk, though. I, you know. No, 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 just a one, just a one glass. Well, I've already been sipping on this drink, sir. Yeah, it's just one bowl. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to. I don't want to risk my job, sir. Also, I didn't even really come here in red, so... This yeah, what's up with that? Well, this isn't our official uh, date, and plus it sounds like uh, you're courting uh, other people on Twitter anyway. No, that's not me. Oh, you're not uh, Boat Boy? No, uh, no. Oh, oh, well, I must have you mistaken for someone else. I'm sorry. No, I try to uh... no, no, I don't, I don't want to call you to, to, to meet you here, but I'm not, I don't, I don't have Twitter. Oh, you're not on Twitter. Oh, okay. There you go, uh, bartender. Thanks for the drink. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my tab now, please. Yeah, it was just that one. Appreciate you. You don't have a Twitter, huh? So is there? No. It's kind of weird that you keep typing on your phone there, and then there's tweets oh, from somebody that do, looks like I'm you. Doing business. I'm sorry. I'm doing business. Oh, business that has nothing to do with Twitter. No, no. It's just coincidental. No, I, don't that I don't want to stay on the social medias. Someone that has a picture of you and the name of Boat Boy is what posting at the same time that you're doing business on your phone. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, you might want to download Twitter and take a look. You might have an imposter. No, nah, it's all fine. It's not a real. It's not real. Well, it's on the internet. It has to be real. Well, here, here, just have, just have one of these. You know, I, I absolutely would love to, but. Uh, yeah, they called me in tonight, so I, I've got to, I can't. Uh, oh, can't did really. they? Yeah. I think I'm supposed to, like, do some training tonight as well. So uh, hopefully it'll be, a, a, you know, nice and calm and peaceful Saturday night. But you know how it goes here in San Andreas. I'm not sure. Yeah. That, I'm sure you wouldn't cause any trouble, but. Well, I never cause any trouble. Except when you're rear-ending me, but. Well, except when you're drunk driving down the road, but that's that's a different story. <laughs> That is a different story. I don't drive drunk down the road, though. What you looking at? Oh, I'm just, uh, business. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on in the business world. Is there? Let me just, yeah, it's, let me it's just get caught up with the business here. Yeah, there's a bit, but, you know. That's so weird that someone would be on Twitter looking exactly like you and posting at the same time that you're doing business. That's so strange. I don't get that. All right, well, I hope you enjoy your wine, sir. Well, no, it's your wine. I got it for you. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, here, 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 drink up. Tell you what, I'll give you my, I'll give you my personal number. And okay, we can, what's your uh, number? We can link up sometime when, uh, when I'm actually off for the night. I might be okay, off on okay. Sunday or Monday. Okay, what's your number? It's uh one one zero. Okay, hang on. I sent you a text. Oh, you did? Oh, let me take a look here. Oh, apparently that's the button to close the phone. You never, you never used a cell phone before? I'm working on it. You said you have what? You have what, Drake? Just one. You, you sure? Yes, sir. Yeah, I've got to go into work here in a little bit, so I can't. Okay, well, just, just have one, just have one ball. No, I, I think I think I have to go on duty semi soon, and so I need that alcohol to kind of get out of my system and and whatnot. Plus, I like I said, I didn't see if you put anything in the drink or anything like that, so just need to make sure. Well, I I'll get another one. I <laughs> go. No, no, don't don't waste your money, sir. No, I'll, I'll throw it out. Nope. Let me get another one. Wait, also, um, why are you infringing on the uh, the bartender's work area? Oh, because they know we are out here. Oh, they know you? Do you work yeah. here? No. Okay. They know me. Hey, uh, if, you know, if you if you with me, everybody know you. You do. You can do what you want. Is that how that works? Yeah. Hey, you don't happen to uh, own like a. A lifted pickup truck or anything like that, do you? Yeah. Oh, you do? 
Yeah. Because uh, I have a cousin that looks a little bit like me that uh, says that someone that looked like you, I guess, hit one of his friends with a big truck over by the, uh, across the street from the 24-7 like a week or two ago. Is that ringing any bells? No. I think it was someone named like, uh, Mo... starts with an M. No, 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 nothing to ring a bell, not from a week or two ago, maybe like Monte? seven months ago. Oh, seven months ago? Oh, so yeah. you have hit someone with your truck? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they were in the way. He ran out in front of me. Ooh, that's scary. All right, yeah. well, yeah, maybe he was thinking of someone else. I just uh, was talking with my cousin the other so week. So I got, here, I got you another one. No, I, I appreciate it, uh, yeah. Chuck, but I, I've got to Drink go to it. work here. Drink it. I can't. Drink, drink, drink it. I, I, I really okay, want to. Uh, We're going to have to okay, take a rain it. check tomorrow or the next day. Okay, just drink it real quick. Yeah, but then someone It's might... a very expensive bottle of wine that I open. So here's what's going to happen, Chuck, is you're going to get in yeah. trouble, and then you're going to oh. tell officers that their dispatcher is, like, intoxicated on the job, or you're going to call in 911 on the recorded line and be like, are you drunk? Like you've accused me of being before. And, uh, well, it's just, you were it's drunk when you were driving look. down the road that day. I just saw you almost hit a pole. No. I mean, but yes. That's, I'm... That's, a, that's a different story. <laughs> I just uh, I don't want to put myself in a position where you're in a oh, place I, to uh, I, be making I, I, accusations. I, I ain't gonna tell. I ain't gonna tell nobody. Just break it. Yeah. Um. Maybe just, just have a just break a little bit of it. It's a very expensive bottle of wine. I'm sure it is. I I hope you enjoy it. No, it, I got it for you. I don't like this stuff. Oh well, what do you like? Well, I don't. I'm a beer person. Oh okay. I can mess with some beer. Yeah. I never drank wine before. You like some craft beer? Nah, I don't like anything that's hoppy. Oh, me either. Yeah, I like, I'm a light beer guy. Do you like, uh. And it's not for the calories, it's just because I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a baby. Do you like, uh, stouts? What's that, like the dark, like the real dark one? Yeah. That's even worse than, like, an IPA. What are you talking about? IPA is horrendous, but the stouts are yeah, good. Yeah, but the stout, it's like a, it's like a chocolate milk beer. <laughs> Some of them. I ain't trying to be like seven years old drinking a beer. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, they're they're especially good like in the winter time, or if, if you're trying to be efficient with your drinking and you know. Would you little... be like a like a Guinness? Mm, I'm not a big fan of Guinness actually. I don't really. I don't branch out too much. I just drink the same one. Okay. The light beers. Yeah. Okay. If you can see through it, then I drink it. If you can't <laughs> see through it, then I don't want it. Okay, well, I can appreciate that. Yeah. So I just, you know, drink this wine. All right. Well, um, let's take drink a rain check. Wine. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find. I just something. open it. It's gonna go bad if you don't drink it. Well, you shouldn't have bought me an expensive glass of wine. Well, I did. I bought you the most expensive bottle of wine. Well, how real? How expensive can it really get here at the Yellow Jack? It's not like we're down at a well, fancy I don't know. establishment. Well, the price had a city. comma in it. It had a comma in it. Yeah. Chuck, why? Well, because it seemed like you would like it. Well, I would, but I need to go to work. I think this one glass like 300 bucks. Oh my gosh. And you yeah. poured that other one down the sink? Yeah, you said you didn't want that one. Well, I don't want this one either. I mean, okay. I do. I do. I just, I can't. Okay, well then drink it. Well, I, I can't drink it because I gotta go so to work. So you want another one or you want to drink this one? <laughs> can, can I drink that one? Tomorrow or the next day when I'm off work. Well, how do I know you you gotta drink it? Because I'm telling you, I'll drink it. You gotta be able to wear a red shirt. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll have to check my wardrobe. I might have to go shopping, but why did okay, well, why did you want well, me to wear a red shirt anyway? Well, I knew who you were. Well, don't you think you'll recognize me now? Now that we've met on a couple of traffic stops, and now that you yeah, but you never know. It could be real busy at here. Now that you've stabbed me with your bottle, which we still should talk about. You don't need to talk about that. You were you were stepping out of your back your lies. Stepping out of my what? Uh, you were stepping out of your, your boundary. What do you mean? I was Well I mean you were you said that day. What do you mean? I called for backup because you were yeah, wanted you at the time. Done. Look you'll learn over time, okay? I thought you wanted to be friends. Yeah. 
I do. Okay. Well, well friends don't stab each other. Well, no, I, I, you, but you weren't being very friendly at that point. Well, I wasn't being unfriendly. I was just doing my job. I was just calling for an additional unit because you were playing Ring yeah, Around the Rosie with me. I told you that you should do that. Well, you were playing Ring Around the Rosie with me. And I think yeah, because you, you were, were you trying to cuff me. Well, I wanted to detain you. I just wanted to pat you down and, and whatnot. And see, I should have. I should have jumped yeah. over my car and patted you down because you had a bottle. Well, baby, you should have called back and we could have worked it out. That's what I'll tell you. I said, don't call her. We, we talk about it. But you weren't you weren't being very helpful. But you know what? We'll discuss this later. I, I hope I'm a forgiving person. You know, I think we can hopefully figure okay, something drink out. Drink this wine. By the way, you don't have yeah. any you don't have any wants right now, do you? I don't. I should. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna pull if up I my. If I did, I got it taken care of. All right. I'm not gonna pull up my cat and check because I do have cat access on my phone. But I mean, you can check, but I mean, if it, if it's still if it's active, it should be because I got it taken care of. Okay. Well, I, you know, I was talking with you last night, and you didn't give me your location, and well, that's because you, you were trying to send the cops over to me to, to arrest me for something that I didn't do. I didn't say anything about arrest. I said they wanted to talk. I to don't. You. Well, what they why they chased me there? Well, I don't tell them what to do. They just said that they wanted to talk to you. I was to talk to me about. I was just letting you know that they wanted to talk to you, and then you. You told me you'd give me your location, then you didn't. So I had to figure out your location via other means. Yeah. All right. Well, my shift starts in like ten minutes, I think. So. Okay. Well, there. Yeah. Yeah. Drink that. I can't. It's just one. It's just one. I ain't gonna look. There's nobody around. I ain't gonna tell nobody. Yeah, but. It's it's, it's just drink. It's a three hundred glass three hundred dollar glass of wine. It's a little too close to when I need to be clocking in though. Yeah, I ain't going to tell nobody. Nobody know you drunk all the time. You'll be fine. <laughs> nobody knows what's in my water bottle at the dispatch center. Yeah, yeah, you drunk all the time. Nobody know. You you, you know, you're good with not letting everybody know that you hammered while you're doing your job all the time every day. <laughs> no. Yeah. I would never. I drink water. But anyway, oh, okay. I'm going to let you go, Chuck. Well, I drink it. It was, it was really nice to uh, get to meet you outside of a... Uh, uh, law enforcement or dispatch uh, perspective. Yeah, you said you got to be. What you got to call me when you in town? Um. Yeah, if you're gonna be uh, in town tomorrow or Monday. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll go shopping and again. I don't. I really don't know. Do I really need to wear red at this point? Because you know what I look like. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you next time. Okay, well, oh, they call oh, me when you get oh, a tail. Okay. Well, thanks. For hey, the you touch. consented to that, by the way. You're, you're a little sweaty, but you anyway. consented to that. I mean, I can't hug you without you saying you want to hug me. So I. Well, you kind of, you I, kind I of only leaned. have to blame. You kind of leaned in there. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, you know. Um, <laughs> sir. I, yeah. I, I don't think we've reached this level yet. Well, I think I get you consented to it. I can't. I, you gotta. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta agree to it. Are you tickling me? <laughs> Why am I my tippy right, toes? This just look like a real nice soft jacket you wear. It is. Well, I'm really poking it out in the back. Yeah, anyway, I'm somebody came in right now. I saw. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go to work now. Okay, well, good luck. I'll see you, I'll see you on the weekend. Okay, stay safe, please. Oh, I don't, always do. Don't I, get in I, trouble. I yeah, I won't. Don't get in trouble. And uh, don't call me with any nonsense. What, I can't even call to say what's going on? No, not on the 911 line. Okay, but, I'll call if I got an emergency and I'll ask what's going on. All right, you... You can call if you have an emergency, by all means. But uh, we've we've had some issues lately with uh, 911 abuse. I don't know if you recognize uh, one of those uh, those guys at the funeral, the the kind of more plump guy that was oh, sitting the, the, standing that, next to me. Yeah, that dumb fat redneck. 
well, I wouldn't go that far, but um, yeah, he. What did the what did the stupid hat with the fat gut? Yeah, he's got a hat, and I I yeah, I recognized his voice, and it sounded like someone that's been abusing nine one one lately. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've had some issues with that, so just be careful. I don't want well, you to I'd be never in trouble. Do. I would never do that. Okay, all right, sir. Well, have a great night. Okay, well, I'll see you later. All right, stay out of trouble now. I always do. Thanks for the wine. Or thanks for the drive. offer for the wine. Yeah, well, thanks for turning down my really expensive glass of wine. Oh. Is that your um, truck? I parked my truck next to your car, and I don't know why it's on top of it now. <laughs> why is it one with the I tree? I honestly don't know what happened. Okay. Well, my, look, my hood I looks mean, a little popped here. Yeah, that look. I don't... Hmm. It looked like how I would park, but I didn't. Okay. Oh, sure, just climb over my car. Alright, Chuck, stay safe now. Okay, have a good one. Take care. Okay. Oh, I'm dragging your truck! It's fine. Okay. Yeah, I was just, uh, I was just fixing its parking. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Alright, take care now. Okay, love you. Oh, yeah. oh, you're oh watch out. Alright, you guys. Well, that is to be continued. We finally met up with Chuck outside of work. Whether it be dispatch or police. Um, we'll, we'll do our official meetup here. Hopefully soon. But hope you guys enjoyed part one. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the funeral. We'll see you in a, another one sometime soon. Take care. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Smash the like button. We'll see you next time. Peace!